Like, you could date a girl that's cool with you being bi because she wants to tickle your butt. Like, that could happen. Have you been <laughs> with both men and women? Yes! Yeah, I've been I with have. girls and guys. Have you been with girls and guys? Yeah, sexually, romantically, all the good stuff. Physically, emotionally. I've actually had long-term relationships with both men and women, so I think I'm gonna be an expert on this. They're different. I think it's just up to, like, persons. Yeah. Like, I've been with girls that are like, are like, ah! And I've been with guys that are like, ah! And it's like, you're not sexy. Definitely, in my opinion, men. I think it's so, like, sexy when you've got this, like, masculine man and he's moaning. <laughs> more like just the individual, like, do they make a nice noise, any noise, or do they just sit there like this? I feel like most guys try to not make too much noise, so when they do, you know you're doing it right. Plus, there's something about the whole masculinity and vulnerability of the whole thing that just really puts me over the top. I find it more important to be attracted to their face and size, or like, their and size than size. Yeah. The size of their ego matters. Like, his ego's huge and it's like <laughs> annoying. So, I may be a bit of a size queen. Bigger is definitely more fun to look at and play with, but uh, there are some drawbacks. I don't think so. I think it's more like how you use it, to be honest. Or if it's with a girl, then like boob size, same thing. Like, to me, size of things doesn't matter. It's more like the person behind the thing they're using. Well, I think with men, I mean, we have multiple apps designed just for hooking up. They're very like, in, let's go, pants off. When I first came out, I did. Like, when I first came out as bi, I definitely was like, oh, no girls are gonna like me. They're all gonna be like, oh, he, he likes guys. Like, I'm not, I don't know. I just didn't think girls would go for a guy who also likes guys. So, I definitely was like, with girls a bit more macho or something, which I didn't need to be. It was stupid. <laughs> I was just young and naive. But now, no. Like, I'm gonna be myself. And if they like me, they like me. And if they don't, they don't. It's more easy for me to be approach to that me approaching people. You did approach me, that's true. And I was like, who is this kid? What does he want? I'm scared. <laughs> Whereas with women, you know, you want to take them out on a date, get to know them um, before, you know, you, you get any further. They're so different. Like, having sex with a guy and having sex with a girl, they're just different. I feel like it's again up to the person. Because, yeah. like, there's some people that are like, what are you doing? And then some people that are like, yeah, the the anatomy is different, but the attitude can be very much the same. Like you can have a girl who's like very dominant. You can have a guy that's very submissive, and the other way around. And I mean, you've got your delicate flowers and like your construction jackhammers, and that goes for both men and women. So I don't think you can really pick one way or the other. And I feel like it's more of like if you're a good match, it's gonna be good. Because exactly. like if you're not gonna be a good match with that person, mm -hmm. it's not gonna be good for you or that person. I would consider myself kind of an equal opportunity partner. Uh, uh, <laughs> whatever gets the party started. Yeah, I feel like it's just however I'm feeling that, that yeah. day. If I had Taco Bell or not. Men in opposite sex uh, encounters are definitely missing out if they don't explore some alternatives to what they might be used to. I've never been a bottom with a girl, I can't even imagine. Well, would it, no, like, maybe it's, like, submissive with a girl. No, you could, they could wear a strap on. I had girls oh. ask me to, like, if they could wear a strap on and just go to town. I think even the straightest man can relate to going to the bathroom and having one of those movements that you want to write your grandchildren about. Now, just imagine that spread out, that feeling spread out over minutes and then cap it off with the best, deepest orgasm you've ever had.